Hi, so this is going to be just a nice little video to kind of explain some of the different papers that you can use. Um, first of all, I want to talk about chipboard. Let me move some of these out of the way. Um, chipboard is really hard. It's about an eighth of an inch thick this way. And it is really nice for making things that need a little bit more um, sturdiness to them. You know, uh, it's not paper per se, you know, that you can fold. It's it's really got a little bit of, of half to it so that it's a little stronger. So when you're making something that you want to have some strength to it, for example, this is one of my trash bins and I leave it on my desk and I throw trash away in it. Um, this is just something for my ink that I have made and you can see it's made out of chipboard and then it's covered in lighter paper to make it look pretty. So um, the other thing like this is a this is a, a garden box and the box is really sturdy. It's made out of chipboard. It's actually brown chipboard. But then when you make the album the, the album cover is also very stiff. It won't fold. It's just like a book cover, so it's heavier, and you can kind of tell. It won't, it won't fold. Chipboard is sturdy. You can, you can move it a little bit, but if you move it too much, it'll crack because it's, it's solid. So that's, that's what chipboard is as compared to paper that you put in for the pages. Okay, so let me put these to the side and we'll talk about some other things. So I have chipboard here for you that's heavy. And then I also have, doobie doobie doo, oh, 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 here we go, no. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's talk about just paper, not chipboard. Chipboard is kind of like the foundation of your house. It's really sturdy. But when we get into paper, there are two papers that I buy. I buy a black one or a brown one if you're making something like that garden box. But usually I use black and the black isn't printable. But what it does do is if this, if I were making a book, and let me get the book out of here so I can show you. Now remember, this is brown chipboard and brown paper, but you can pretend it's black. So I would actually cover this in black first to put all of the things together. The spine is separate, the, the covers are separate, and so then I would cover it in black paper first before we even start to put pretty paper on top of it. Okay, so that's just black cardstock, and you can see the difference. This is from chipboard that doesn't, it doesn't want to fold. This is just a heavy paper. Okay, so the other one that I use, and, and that's just from Michaels, that's this. It's um, Black Noir and it's uh, Recollections. You get 50 sheets and they go on sale, which is really nice. You buy one, get one half price, and you can use coupons on top of that. So this is a really nice deal. The other one that I use, which is basically the same as the black, is the white cardstock, and it is very flexible. The white one is the one that I print on, and you can see I have several Halloween papers that I've printed. This was just white cardstock, the Recollections White from Michaels that I have gone ahead and printed on. And that's what I like about buying my own papers to print the digital form of it because then you can print it. You don't have to use, you have one piece of paper that you buy, you use it. Whereas if you print your own, you can print as many as you want. For example, like this is a, this is a, uh, 
glitter paper. So I can only use this once. And if I had bought a pretty piece like these, okay, these I have bought. And you can only use them once. And once you've used them, then you're done. Whereas when you buy the digital set, you can print those hundreds of times if you want to, to make projects for yourself. So that's what I use this for. And it is same thing. It's from Michaels. It's 50 sheets, 65 pounds, and it's, I get white. And this looks like it's cream, but it's actually white. So that's, that's the difference between the papers that I use. Um, the big thing is just to remember that the black chipboard is a lot heavier than the black paper. The black paper will actually fold, whereas the chipboard won't. And the black paper, if you're using black chipboard, then you want to use black paper to cover it. So when you make a book, you'll have two. Let me get rid of some of this stuff under it so you can see it better. You'll have a front and a back cover. And then you'll also have a spine. Let me get one on my, yeah, here we go. You'll also have a spine. And this is all explained in the videos, the, the craft videos that we do. Um, if this were a real spine, it would be longer. But then you will use the black paper. You usually glue several of the papers together so that you can make them fit around and make this a book. This will actually turn into a book with just the black paper around it. Then once you've done that, then you go ahead and print your pretty papers, cardstock papers, which fold. See, I have two of them and they still fold. So that's, that's kind of the difference. And if you watch the videos, you'll kind of see, you can follow the directions, um, but we can chat more if you have a problem. Just send me an email or find me on Facebook. We can do a Facebook chat with, a, with Messenger. I'm glad to do that. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. I hope I didn't confuse you more. Okay, bye.